Welcome back to Pacific Drive. We're about to head to the well way up here. Before that, though, we have a new fax. They prey on vehicles. It's like they eat them. Oh, I also installed a new tool that I just researched and made, the Anchor Energy Converter. It takes the place of one of the mini turbines, unfortunately, but it is incredibly important, I think, because energy is becoming more and more of a problem despite the turbines. This thing allows you to turn one Kalim energy into 100 kilowatts of battery power. That is fantastic. That's basically one full battery charge per Kalim. Now arriving at the well. Just go straight. Nothing else here. This is really it, huh? <laughs> the end of the road. Soon we'll finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for. And whether it was all worth it. Francis. Yeah? Thank you for trusting me. When you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. Got a look at that. These gamma readings, are they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> if this thing really leads us to Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all this. For once. All right, driver, you're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. It's opening? Godspeed, driver. Is this gonna take us? Happy? Happy? Did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, that light nearly blinded me. Can, can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Five. 500 kilojoules? Happy, what is this? The future. I call it limb waves. Have we gone back in time? Coffee delivery. Uh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on. I was thinking oh, about my Christmas. Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Then tech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children. And I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good. Because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you.
Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave, and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating, the ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm going to stay and chase down these stories, wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. You here to vote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist's scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay in work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flask cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Driver. Driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Hey, look. The gang's back together. Tobias? I, um... Uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone. With me. These years... <laughs> best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Oppy. Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> Driver, is that a gun barrel on your dash? No, oh, I'll be damned. Bye. Until next time. Tobias? Tobias! Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. I don't know how to leave. Oh. This should do. No map. Yeah, just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb bases aligned. Who? Deviation, you get me? I'm trying. <laughs> Anything we can do to stabilize things on your side. Punching it as hard as I can. Francis, hold tight. I can't. The, the, the blade, it's the sinking. Driver, punch it. Go. <laughs> That wasn't a very clean exit. I went into it a hundred miles per hour sideways. Hopefully I don't come out the other side spinning in the air. No, 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 we're okay. We're okay. You made it back, driver. All in one piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Revenant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Y you're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head, but you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Bobby, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. <laughs> we managed to pull off the near impossible. 
And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? That your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye. And that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And Driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby! Really? Well, I, um... Uh, driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppie was right. There's still so much of the Zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppie, but I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car, but it stayed with you and will continue to protect you as you travel the Zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. Let's finish with some quick thoughts about Pacific Drive. I loved it. It's a little rough around the edges, but more importantly to me, it's memorable and unique and I have never played anything quite like it. It has so much heart. It's obviously been made with love and it really shows. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Pacific Drive. Thanks so much for watching.